Welcome tonight to this live uh, transmission of Majestic Christian TV Network. My name is Apostle Larry Dorcano and uh, I'm coming to you all the way from Venice, Venice in Italy. You can see the background, um, beautiful Venice um, with lots of water. So I'm so delighted to be bringing the word of God to you from Lido in from Venice uh, 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 in Italy. Shall we pray? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you this hour. We ask that you will cause your word to penetrate our spirit, our soul, and our bodies. We pray that we shall be empowered, strengthened, and healed as we receive your word. We give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I began a message on the uh, the covenants of the Lord, but I am going to suspend. I'm going to get back to finish that message. But in the meantime, this is what is on my heart. I want to share with you. I believe some, there are some people out there who need to rise above and on top of the, the setbacks that they are facing in this life. You know, we all face setbacks from time to time. But I want you to know that if you are somebody who believes in God, who believes in Jesus Christ, somebody who is a child of God, you are supposed to rise upon your setback. So my, the title of my message is Rising to the Next Level on, on Your Setbacks. Rising to the Next Level on Your Setbacks. What is a setback anyway? A setback is anything that is intended to halt to halt your progress or to check you from going uh, you know, as far as you want to go. It is a reversal or anything that wants to that, that is able to check your progress. It makes success less likely. It makes uh, success, attaining success difficult. So setbacks are not what we like, but it is important to realize that you can rise above them. You know, I like people who have such a positive mentality that, uh, uh, you know, it doesn't deter them, it doesn't weigh them down. In fact, just two days ago, I was watching CNN and there's a Filipino boxer who was a world champion. He lost a title, uh, and uh, now he's uh, getting ready for a rematch with his opponent, the very guy who, who took the title from him. And they were asking him, the CNN journalist was asking him, what would you do uh, if you lose this uh, next fight? What would that mean for your career? And he said, point blank to the uh, journalist. They said, well, uh, I, I, I have a positive mind. I am not looking at what can happen after defeat. I know I am going uh, all out to win. And that's all I know. <laughs> I'm going all out to win. I've, I've not, I, I, there's no room for negativity for, as far as I'm concerned in this fight. You know, of course, that, you may say that's a realistic question to ask. But, but what can be more realistic than being positive about, about rising above your circumstances, rising above the things which have slapped you and hindered you and beaten you. Well, what about rising above those things? And that's what we're talking about in Jesus' name. Now, my text uh, this hour is taken from Luke chapter 22, Luke chapter 22, the verses 31 and verse 32. Luke chapter 32 to 22, the verse 31 and 32. And the Lord said to, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, Strengthen thy brethren. Hallelujah. Satan has desired to sift you as wheat. This was an announcement Jesus gave Simon Peter. Simon Peter was, was one of the foremost apostles of Jesus Christ our Lord. And uh, in fact, unknown to him, 
Satan had planned an attack against him. That attack was to bring him down flat. It's amazing how many times we don't know what's, what's in the hidden, what's in the unknown. Those things that are, are, are being schemed against us. Many times we don't know. See, but God knows all things. And He is the one who helps us. Now, what I find interesting about this uh, this very revelation which Jesus gave Peter was that uh, Jesus saw what was about to happen to Peter. Uh, in fact, Jesus did not rebuke the devil or stop him from carrying out his plans. And you wonder why, if Jesus knew, why, why wouldn't he protect his friend? Why would he protect Simon Peter? There are certain, certain trials and difficulties which have got to come, whether we like it or not. Are you scared? No, don't be scared. Whether we like it or not, certain challenges, certain difficulties will come. They will come. God will not stop them from coming. But what I want you to know is that you and me, we can rise atop, above, beyond every setback which ever hits us, us in this life. It is natural sometimes to cry, to feel the pain, to feel the, the discouragement, to feel the hurt when you have been disappointed and let down. It is natural to feel those things. But much more better to know that you can rise above the limitations we confront you in this life. Hallelujah. Now, if you look at the word the original Greek word which is translated as sift here in the Greek it's siniazo take the pronunciation as it comes siniazo okay it means to riddle to shake as in a sieve to agitate inwardly to try someone's faith bring to the verge of overthrow in other words Give that person such a, a shock that that person will consider changing his mind or her mind about believing in God, about following Jesus. There are certain things you may have experienced, they were so hard, they were so tough, that you wonder whether you could survive them, you could survive afterwards. You see, but Jesus said, Satan has desired to sift you. And that sifting will surely happen. It will happen. I'm not stopping it. I am not blocking it. I am not limiting it. It will surely come to pass. But Jesus said also, He said, I have prayed for you. I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. You know, the prayer of Jesus was not to deliver Peter from the sifting which was about to come. But it was for his faith. In other words, there is something more precious of greater value and importance than us being delivered from certain trials and certain temptations. What is more precious to God is our connection with Him, our work with Him, our faith in Him. Those things are more important. They are of greater value because with that, with that faith, with that confidence in God, we can recover all things. Hallelujah. Anybody who loses his or her faith when you have gone through challenges and difficulties, if you lose your faith, you have lost all. You have lost everything. You have blown away your life just like that. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. If your faith and my faith does not fail in the midst of difficulties, then that's a great triumph. That's a mighty triumph because the whole idea of the wicked one is to what? Break our faith. Is to what? Cause us to abandon our faith is what 
cause us to turn our backs to the Lord. That is, that is, that is the target, that is the goal of the enemy, to snatch our faith from us, to invalidate it, to cause us to, to, to lose it altogether. But Jesus said, I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. If your faith does not fail, then you can count on recovery. You can count on recovery, on getting back anything you have ever lost. Say, I hear you. Oh, he said, I want to shake, I want to shift you. I want to shift you like wheat. I want to agitate you. I want to trouble your life so much so that you feel like turning your back on God. That's the devil's mind. That's the enemy's uh, intention. But you know, what I want to encourage you with here right now is that even that which comes to attack you, even that which comes to destroy you, even that which comes to upset your life, God will use it as a platform to raise you. So I hear you. Oh, I can just imagine you reliving the experience you went through. How your, your husband or your friend let you down. How your wife let you down. How, how that, that close body of yours lied against you in order to take advantage of you and to have what you know, she, she or he has been longing for. Only to swerve you and, and to, to, to have his or her way. And you, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, uh, you know, you just can't forget how you were disappointed and betrayed. I can imagine. And that whole thing brought you down. That whole thing, that whole thing you know, made you lose your balance. That setback halted your progress. And you couldn't go further. You're wondering whether you could recover. But let me tell you something. You can rise again on the backs of those very setbacks which have been thrown at you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are able and you will recover in Jesus' name. Whatever the enemy intended for you, don't you forget that as a righteous man or woman, you have the power to recover. You have the ability to recover and you will succeed in Jesus' name. Those setbacks will not keep you down, but you will rise above them. You know, the scripture says, when a righteous man falls seven times, yet he shall rise again. You will rise above those setbacks. You know, in fact, it sometimes, sometimes it becomes even good that you have been afflicted. The psalmist says, it was good that I was afflicted. <laughs> you know, when God allow, allows men to run over you, to run over your head and to suppress you, He will only introduce you to a place of enlargement. You know, we have a powerful gospel. You know, what we see and what we experience it's not always what it will turn out to be. Most of the time, it's only an entrance, a corridor to greater blessings. I want to encourage you this, this hour that God has not forsaken you. God has not abandoned you. You are going to rise up on your setbacks to your next level. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive this encouragement in Jesus' name. Well, I have just run, I run out of time, so I will continue this message, God willing, next, uh, next Friday, same time, on this channel, Majestic Christian TV Network. Shall we pray before I go? I pray right now, in Jesus' name, every satanic plan, every, every design intended to cripple you, to halt you, to set you back and to check your progress. Let the Lord transform it into a promotion platform for you, for you in Jesus' name. Let the Lord cause it to become a springboard to your next level. Whatever has been a setback in your life, I prophesy unto you that it shall become a launching pad for your promotion in Jesus' name. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. I'll be coming your way 
with the finishing part of this message uh, same time next week Friday. God bless you and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful week until I see you again. Bye-bye.